<laughs> Honestly, babe, I'm so tired right now. Are you? No. <laughs> Tiredness away like a mug of coffee then. How would you like your coffee then? Depends what options are available. <laughs> Excuse me, can we help you? Kimberly? Why are you here? What do you want here? I just need a place to spend the night. Know each other? Honey. Babe, I'm so confused right now. What's going on? Do you know her? Babe, answer me. Yes, I know her. I don't know why she's here or what she wants, but she just needs to get back to wherever she's come from and never show her face ever again. Who is she? Cecilia. Cecilia? Who's Cecilia? I will tell you later. Please, just, just make her go away. Well, what do you suggest we do? I can't have her here. I can't have her step her feet into herself. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I understand. I mean, I don't even understand how she got her address. I haven't spoken to her for close to a decade. Well, we can't just have her sitting on our porch. What are you doing? Getting her some money for a hotel and calling her a taxi. Okay. Sorry for causing any inconvenience. My wife and I have called you a cab. It will take you anywhere you need to go. Probably a hotel. But I don't know. I need to know for sure we know hotel we're taking to. Listen, go for your cab and your hotel. Please don't come back here. Kimberly, I know you must hate me after what I did, and you have Please, every just, right just to. Please, just go. I don't want to hear no apologies or anything. Just, just go. You've given me everything you need. Just go anywhere. Just go. Hello there. Where are we going? 233 Alexander Avenue. It's just around the corner. I'm well aware of that. Now we normally didn't come out for two minutes or two pound. Uh... Okay, okay. Just take me around the block a couple of times and then to my destination. Oh, okay then. Work, so do you. Mm, no. No. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what? 
No rest kicking. <sighs> Don't forget to stop on mechanic today to send the issue of your headlights. I will have the time. I thought it would be in your own boss to me that you can make your own time do exactly what you wanted. I'm glad you used the phrase make time, meaning that the time isn't actually there. <laughs> Let's get out of the way where you're going to be late. No. I just want to talk to you. Kimberly, please just let me say what I have to say. Get out my way. Not until you talk to me. I swear if you ever show your face here again, I will call the police. Maybe if we just lower the ticket out sky bundle, but lower the price again. Yeah, because that way we'll get views. Mm. And we will get money at the same yeah, time. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Ow. Aren't you gonna say something? Um, thank you. You're welcome. My name's Celia. What's yours? Kimberly. Kimberly. Kimberly, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. What did you say? Do you want more tea? Yeah, yes, please. What's the matter with you? What do you mean by that? Ever since Cecilia showed up here the other day, you've been acting really strange. But I just don't understand why she's trying to get back into my life. I mean, what could she possibly want from me? Maybe if you let her explain, you would have found out. No. No, that's just it. There are people you must never open the door of your life to. People you must never let in. Go on. Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect? How a small change can result in large effects. Thanks for living. There are some paths which you should never cross. Some people which you should never meet. Not because they're bad people or anything, but because they're simply toxic to you. A simple act of letting them in bring a whole life of violence. A normal one spoke, long before people had met, the spirits had already planned it. I guess if this is where the truth is, my encounters were faked. Our worlds were always meant to collide. Excited. Nothing. Fine then. Get out, Adrian. Now that's a little bit rude, wouldn't you agree? Oh, sorry, Dad. I thought you were Adriana. So it's not rude when it's targeted at me. Exactly my point. That was sarcasm, Dunder. Hey, no name calling. You're supposed to be in bed anyway, Drea. So how was your day? Great. Anything exciting happen? No, nothing exciting at all. I'm glad you count that, Josh boy, it's nothing. How? Driana told you, didn't she? Drea didn't tell me anything. I saw you on my way back from tennis courts. I've seen you a couple of times. Don't worry. I'll keep pretending like I don't know anything and I'll keep you happy. Thanks, Dad. But I will still give you my fatherly advice. 
which is that boys are evil and dangerous. And the last thing you want to do is kiss one. I'm here to give you rashes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but on a serious note, though, I just want to find out if you're okay with the whole new school thing, leaving your old friends and all. I just thought, you know. But your mother and I really do think it's for the best. I understand. I mean, I only really had one friend there anyway. Well, brilliant. Well, good night, sweetheart. Get plenty of rest for school tomorrow. Good night, Dad. Hello to people before. My mum had a girl before me, but she died and came back as me. First day of school, kid. It was a bit odd. Something weird happened. What do you mean? Do you remember that man who passed away? The one whose daughter that used to be in the same playgroup as me. Oh yes, my old colleague, Mr. Richard. I remember him. What about him? His daughter is in my class. Oh yes, Cecilia, how's she? She's okay. Yeah. I mean, but she keeps on talking about her dad as if he was alive. Really? I mean, she even said she lived in Ivory Lane. That's rather odd. It just makes no sense why anyone would do that. Do not say anything to her about him. Maybe she still thinks he's still alive. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. Everything doesn't always have to make sense, Kimmy.
another one of the soft drinks. It's no, I'm right. mm. I mean, we should be alright. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. It should be good. Mm. What exactly are you doing? Do not look now, but all the hot guys in the other team are in the other queue. This is a bad thing because... Hey guys! Woohoo! Over here! Do you know how awkward that was? Two days ago. What's so awkward about that? It's okay for guys to blow kisses, but with girls it just thinks of desperation. Who do you go see today? The flight attendant. You seen that already? We're watching the uh, undead. We should be joining us. It's too bad. We would have bought our tickets. You can always sneak in with us. Yeah. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. No, it doesn't sound like a good idea. Come on, people do it all the time. Yes, Kimberly, come on. Our movie's about to start any minute now, so we better get in. See you later, guys. See you later, guys. Bye. Hey, Kimberly. Hi. Hey, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Go to the loo. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you want to come with me? No, I'm okay. I'll be right back. I'll be laying on Saturday, yeah? Sure, hon. Turn that front upside down. First of all, where the hell have you been? I've been sat here for almost an hour waiting for you. I mean, what sort of person does that? I can't believe you just abandoned me and went to go and see their movie with them. What sort of person does that? And why are you seeing on Ivy Lane on Saturday? No, mind if you don't really live there. Shall I take people to stay on? I mean, why shouldn't I shout after what you've done to me? <sighs> Sorry, Kim. I'm really sorry about yesterday. So why did you do it in the first place? I just like the feeling that I had being around the guys yesterday. Being around rich guys. Why are you so class conscious? I just need you to tell me it on Saturday. Don't like pretending no life. You're such a child. Josh was right. Josh! So how do you even know Josh? Cecilia, I asked you a question. Guys told me at the cinema yesterday they play basketball with him. What did they tell you? Well, the whole conversation started because of the awkward way you behaved yesterday. You know, not wanting to break the rules and all. They said he spoke a lot about you, about your behaviour. What behaviour? What did he say? They said they thought you weren't spontaneous and a bit too childish. I know, I don't believe that. Here I am trying to help you out and you're calling me a liar. I don't call you a liar, Cecilia. I just don't believe that. Well, if you must know, 
He's also cheating on you. They said he's going out with almost every guy at Agent Ivory Lane. to do with anything. Take it. It's my gift to you. It's a symbol of a friendship I'd like to build with you. So I thought that counts, isn't it? I've got to go now. I'll see you later, BFF. Wait, so what do we name it? It's a she. So why don't we name it after the both of us? So it's a symbol of our friendship. Okay. How about Thelia? <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. I like that. It will live till the day our friendship ends. Let's hope that day never comes then.
another bad dream. Yeah. Sisters. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, I've never had one of those before. Make sure you take good care of it. Okay. It's a sister. Yes, we're sisters now. And we'll be forever and ever. Get what is mine 